Matt Weaver with NASCAR Ranting and Raving. How's it going? Walking through the Talladega parking lot, trying not to get ran over. In a second, we're going to talk to a couple of ARCA drivers, most notably nine-time series champion Frank Kimmel and driver of the number 88 Technic Ford, Buster Graham. All right, so just get us started by talking about how it did feel in the car, the temperature, a slick track. You know, how's that going to make a difference in the race on, on today? Well, you know, this is my first time here, so uh, I'm really, really kind of, I don't know what it's going to be like. You know, I'm just uh, going to go out there and be smooth and make all the, you know, 250 miles and hopefully come home with like a top 20 or something like that. We're just looking to, looking to take the green and check it flat. Okay, so you cut your teeth on, on local short tracks in Alabama. Uh, what's it like for you to make the transition from, from late model cars to these much powerful ARCA cars? Uh, it's, uh, these things are powerful, but uh, you know, it, it takes them a lap to get going. You know, the, I'm, used to, I'm used to my head being thrown back, going down the straightaway, getting up pretty fast. And I mean, it's just uh, once you get going here, you just kinda, it's just kind of like you're on the interstate, really. <laughs> You know, it's all the way to the floor, and uh, you're, you're just uh, hoping for the best. Now, you're a real estate agent in your other life, and you're sponsored by the National Association of Realtors this weekend. Talk about how exciting that is for you to merge the two aspects of your life together here at Talladega. Well, well being a third-generation realtor, really, uh, you know, this, this deal really is a, is a good deal for me. You know, uh, I think I just can't thank all the different boards enough in Alabama that they put together some money. To, uh, to help us run this race. And uh, I can't thank Andy Belmont Racing enough either because without him, we wouldn't have a car. Just, uh, you know, the realtors and Andy Belmont have really, you know, gave me this opportunity and I, I, you know, I, just, I just really appreciate it. On one final note, you know, what are your chances out there today? You know, I'm just I'm just looking to, to learn today, you know, just uh, go out there and learn how to do the whole drafting thing and, uh, Come home in one piece and take the green and checker flag. That'd be a good day for us. For that. Good luck today. All right, I'm here with Frank Kimmel, the nine-time ARCA Series champion. You know, you got a great starting spot. You'll roll off P3. Can you win from there? I think you can win from anywhere here at Talladega because uh, it's just a matter if you put yourself in the right spot at the end of the day. And uh, you know that's what we want to try to do with our Ansel Menards uh, Camry. It just it was pretty good in practice, and uh, we'll just have to see how it works out in the race. Right. Uh, you were reporting some vibrations out there in practice, and then they kind of went away. Did y'all figure out what that was, and do you have any concerns? Yeah, we uh, we equalized a couple of tires, and what people don't understand is there's an inner tire and an outer tire on these super speedways, and if they get the equal pressure on both sides, uh, it makes them vibrate. So it happened a couple of different times, so the guys, we took and changed all the wheels out and uh, to make sure that it doesn't happen in the race because... Uh, Eventually, what it'll do is it'll, it'll overheat the inner tire and actually blow out the thing. So uh, we have to you have to pit if it starts doing that. Right. Uh, 66 race winless streak. Uh, are you starting to get antsy? <laughs> yeah, about 65 ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We, you know, we, uh, we had a really good car. We had a great car actually every race this year, and I uh, got a good finish last week at Salem, and I had an opportunity to win. So that's all you can ask, and I think if we keep doing that. We will eventually get in victory lane. Going into Mobile, you told me that you felt that the short track program was a little ahead of the Super Speedway program. So now two races in, going into Talladega, how do you feel about the Super Speedway program? I think it's about the same. I think uh, if you had to compare the two, I mean, I think if we'd have qualified today, we probably would have ended up in the top 20 somewhere. Uh, and I think if we, when we go to the intermediate or a short track race, we're going to qualify in the top 10 or better. Uh, so we have a little more room to, to work here on the Super Speedways. but. Again, you can spend half your budget trying to run Daytona and Talladega, and, uh, and it's only two races, so the other races are just as important. So you got to be pretty smart about it. Right. Uh, celebrated your 50th birthday on Monday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, read a story about Steak and Shake with your dad. Can you <laughs> tell us that story a little bit? Uh, well, we do it every day. Uh, it's not, it wasn't like it was a big thing. Uh, every weekday when I'm at home, uh, Dad, I'll call Dad, and, and uh, he'll uh, I get him up in the morning, and he's usually up and kicking, and we'll usually meet there about 8 o'clock. We got a couple friends that join us occasionally. Charge and Charlie Glotzbach, who used to be a NASCAR racer, and uh, uh, he's, he's a little bit younger than Dad, but uh, still one of the older guys. And so it's cool to sit there and listen to their stories. Awesome. Good luck out there. Right, I'm with Buster Graham, driver of the number 88 Team BCR Ford. Um, you start 38th in, in the race due to the rain out. Can you win from there? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Bobby Gearhart did it at Daytona. He started, you know, dead last and drove his way to the front. Um, you know, things can happen. Three laps, you can go from the back to the front, you know, on these super speedways. So, yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem. 
Uh, the track is hot, it's slick. How did it feel out there in practice, and are you comfortable with the setup you all have right now? Oh, yeah, the, the car is fantastic. It's the best, uh, you know, we tested here two weeks ago. It's the best it's ever been. Uh, I think we were 20th in practice and uh, was able to pull up on cars pretty easy, using a lot of brakes. Uh, wasn't supposed to, but I was. But yeah, it's, we got a good fast car. Uh, you had a strong run at Daytona. Uh, how different is, is Daytona from Talladega and the experiences that you've had at both? How do they race similar and how do they race differently? Um, well, the, the, the uh, banking is really close. Um, I'd say the biggest difference is this track is really smooth. Talladega is it's really smooth compared to Daytona. Um, you know, other than that, they're really, really almost identical tracks other than just you know, Daytona's a little bumpier. Uh, Speed-wise, we're real close. Uh, so, I mean, they, they compare a lot. Uh, it's a fun track to drive, too. You know? It's a really, really fun track. As a driver, how exciting is it to be able to, you know, make the transition from a place like Mobile, where, where your last race was, to tracks like Daytona and Talladega, these super speedways with, you know, this really intense, exciting fan environment. Uh, how exciting is that for you as a driver to visit these prestigious tracks? Oh, it's, man, uh, you know, I drive into these tracks and I feel like it's, uh, I'm privileged uh, to, to be able to, to drive on the same tracks that, uh, you know, Dale Earnhardt drove on. And, uh, it's just, uh, it's, I can't even describe it, you know, I feel like I'm one of the luckiest guys you know, on the planet right now, you know, getting to live, getting living a dream, you know, doing this. So, uh, you know, as far as uh, Mobile goes, that's a great track, but man, I tell you, you better be in shape to run well there, you know. It's uh, a lot of, uh, lot of action happens uh, quick over there. But, you know, I, I like the short tracks. Um, these, the, the people that, that uh, come to these big, you know, Daytona and Talladega, they put a lot of fire on you also, you know. You got a lot of, a lot of fans out here, and you know, it's just a great atmosphere. I love it. Can I help you? A lot of guys are worried about the first 10 to 15 laps. Is surviving the opening salvo the key to winning this race? Oh, absolutely. Um, we we do have some guys that uh, we know that are, you know, not going to be up to the speed we're running. So just staying out of the way uh, if there is a wreck, um, that's going to be really key. You know, I think there will probably be a wreck. You know, hate to say it. And hopefully, we can stay out of it. All right. Good luck to you, Buster.